stepping into the recipe kitchen this morning with Chef Cohen where he shares one of his favorite recipes with us. And today we're going to take an old classic and he's going to put his own personal spin on it. And I'm excited for this one. My I, I am as well. All right, so we're making pancakes, but I'll have you know, okay, I'm known as the pancake king. All right, so normally I like my pancakes a little bit sweet, but you've got something else in mind. I got something savory. All right, all right. I, I'm just thinking about when you say you're the pancake king, I'm like, then why am I doing all the cooking today? Because it's your recipe, it's your spin, which is going to be different from what I do. Yes. Okay. It's going to be savory. Yes. So to add lightness and a little bit of savoriness to it, we're going to use our chili bite mix. We're going to put in a nice creamy, mushroomy, peppery filling, topping with the cheese sauce and a little bit more cheese on top. If we've got the energy, we might just melt it, or we just eat it as it is. <laughs> but sometimes it's not patient, you just want to get to the good eating. All right. So, yeah. Well, let's get to the good making of it. What do we need? Okay, so for the pancake component, we need our chili bite mix, which I put into these dandy little bottles because they look quite nice. We've got flour, beaten egg, spring onions, milk, water, and oil for the pan. Easy as that. In a bowl, mix together paco chili bite mix and flour with a pinch of salt. Add the egg and then other wet ingredients. Gently whisk till it forms a thin batter. Be careful not to overmix. And while you've been in those, I'm going to slowly pour in these. There we go. And milk in equal quantity. Now we've got a nice little bubble. Finally, stir in the finely chopped fresh spring onions. Okay, while you've got that, I've got my pan heating up. So I'm going to put in a little bit of oil just to grease it up. I'm going to grab my ladle that I've got over here. I'm going to Pour some into the frying pan. No, this is where the pot comes all in the wrist. Nice and easy. Yes. All right. You're going to pour it in one side. Nice and easy. Use a non-stick pan and be sure to preheat it. A pancake is ready to be turned over when it's dry around the edges and bubbles have formed over the top. There we go. There we go. Look at you. Oh, no. I want to go for more. <laughs> sure. Things are heating up in the kitchen. <laughs> be careful not to let it get too hot. Keep the stove top turned to medium. All right, well, this is going well. So you've done a stellar job of flipping your pancake. Yeah. You see? Whoa! You see? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? There we go. Final pancakes look amazing. Now, I guess we need to fill them with something. Yes. All right, so what I can see in front of me, we've got some chicken and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm guessing kind of a, a creamy chicken filling. A creamy, chickeny, mushroom, comfort, hearty filling thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like it. For the filling, you'll need butter, half a sliced onion, green pepper and thyme, as well as chicken, milk and bisto creamy mushroom cooking sauce. Firstly, melt the butter in a pan. Fry the onion till nicely browned and then add the green pepper. I'm going to grab some of our stalks of thyme, put it in. These are really going to be pancakes with a difference. Now, if you would like to get your hands on the recipe for our lovely chili bite pancakes this morning, you can SMS the keyword recipe kitchen to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also add a link to the recipe. Those SMSs do cost one rand fifty. Alternatively, you can log on to the recipe kitchen website, recipekitchen.co.za. Easy as that. Now you're ready to add the chicken pieces. Fry it till brown on the outside and half cooked through. Then pour on the cooking sauce. Keep stirring until the mixture is heated, but not boiling. Okay, so we've got this unctuous, creamy, hearty filling. Done, prepared, looking, ready to go. And it smells delicious as well. I know, it really is. So to add on to that, I've gone and I've prepared a Bisto cream cheese and spring onion sauce. All right. And I've mixed with half water, half milk to give it an extra creaminess to it. All right, easy. Yes, you are very easy. All of this is actually very, very simple. And now to assemble. Firstly, scoop in the sauce onto each pancake, then the chicken mixture. Fold it like a little parcel, place it on a serving plate, and don't forget to sprinkle it with a generous helping of grated cheese. Chef Cohen, that looks amazing. All right, let's have a taste, man. This is comfort food with a special twist that will impress your family and friends. Let's see the main steps again. For the batter, whisk together the wet ingredients and dry ingredients together, and add spring onions. Pour the batter in a thin layer and allow it to cook till bubbles form on the surface. For the filling, melt butter in a pan. Fry onion and add green pepper and thyme. Then brown the chicken and pour in the Bisto Creamy Mushroom cooking sauce. Also mix up Bisto Cheese and Spring Onion sauce and finally assemble the crepes by filling it with generous helpings of the chicken mixture and sauce with cheese on top. Also find the recipe on the Expresso Facebook page and website. For an ingredients list, SMS Recipe Kitchen to 33728. You'll automatically be entered into a draw to win a Philips Avance food processor. 
SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, T's and C's apply. The competition ends at 8.30 a.m. today. Paco Chili Bites, just the perfect bite. Looks amazing. Just one of the tasty recipes that we're making and creating on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Well, you can get that recipe on your phone too. How do we do that, Leanne? All you have to do is SMS the keyword Recipe Kitchen to 33728. We'll send you an ingredients list and, of course, the link to the recipe as well. Yeah, all those SMSs charged at 1 Rand 50. And, of course, you're automatically going to a draw for a Philips Advance food processor. Now, that's something I would want. I'll tell you what else I want. It's almost 7 o'clock and I've only been back, what, like three hours? Mm -hmm. And I still haven't had my morning coffee.